In October 2022, Everest, one of the largest vessels to take to the seas, arrives at Qingdao port in Shandong to unload its vast cargo. The 400,000 tons of iron ore it has on board is enough to fill 6,557 railway cars. Yet after she docks, the whole process from unloading to logistics takes just 48 hours. This kind of turnaround has earned Qingdao port the distinction of being the world's most efficient automated iron ore terminal. Standardization lies at the heart of modern logistics operations. However, bulk iron ore, with its varying shapes and densities, defies standardization. As a result, it is a major challenge for ports worldwide and was once even considered off-limits for automated dockside logistics. However, the engineers at Qingdao port have long been obsessed with the question of how to overcome this seemingly impossible task. This is China's single largest iron ore storage yard, covering three square kilometers, seven times the size of Beijing's Tiananmen Square. Every day, over 300,000 tons of iron ore leave from here for destinations across the country. The railways are the most economical and efficient mode of transportation for port logistics, but the loading specifications for train cars often vary. Moreover, various densities of ore will result in different loading capacities, and the slightest mistake can lead to a lopsided car or even derailment. Manual operation appears the only choice for this part of the process. But engineers have discovered a novel solution. Using AI algorithms that harness the power of data to discern hidden patterns inside the ore, thereby breaking the barriers to automation. They deploy drones to conduct inventory surveys and create precise 3D models through laser scanning. By establishing a comprehensive sky net over the storage yard, the drones can collect and analyze real-time data. This allows AI to contribute to the strategic placement of materials, and to selecting the most efficient order and transportation method. By allowing AI algorithms to set specific parameters, various sensor technologies like radio frequency identification, lasers and imaging can be used to identify and detect the ore. This means the exact load for each train car is calculated precisely. The integration of digital hydraulics gives the technology the capability to sense and feel. It can automatically dispense the ore based on its unique shape, density and viscosity. As a result, it has become possible for fully automatic operations for complete train sets of more than 60 cars. With the automated system in place, loading one railway car takes 50 seconds, with just five minutes needed to load six cars. Previously, it would have taken six people and six loaders working all out for 10 minutes to complete this task. This increased efficiency means an additional 480 cars can be loaded each day. Consequently, the terminal's railway can generate extra revenue of 570 million yuan a year. Since going into operation in 2015, Qingdao port's Dongjiakou port area has received 300 vessels, each carrying the maximum capacity of 400,000 tons of ore. Over the years, it has offloaded 320 million tons, enough for producing the steel to rebuild the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge 140 times over, or lay 30 rail lines as long as the Beijing Shanghai High Speed Railway. In addition, steel manufacturers have saved up to 2 billion yuan in logistics costs. And this is just the beginning. Qingdao port is on a path to fully automate the handling of iron ore shipments, using AI to redefine industry standards and create a future without limits.